What's up, family? Man, I want to jump on and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you guys. I'm going to talk about deflecting. Deflecting. Um, <laughs> years ago, as a young man, uh, I was having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with God. And I was just talking about how my life sucked, how the world sucked, you know, and how my life sucked because of the things that I had gone through and how it was everybody else's fault. And one of the things that God had to slap me with was, Elijah, you're great at telling your story from the victim perspective. Elijah, you're great at talking about what everybody else has done to you. Elijah, you're great at talking about, man, your daddy did whoop do do whoop and these people molested you and these kids and these people were abusive to you and da 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 da. But Elijah, you're not that little kid anymore. Elijah, you got kids that age now. Elijah, you haven't been that little kid for years. When are you going to stop talking about everybody else and focus on you? When are you going to take your attention off what everybody's done to you? When are you going to take your attention off how bad and how mean the world is and focus on you? See, Elijah, your problem is you're great at deflecting. You're great at pointing out everybody else's faults and character defects while taking no ownership of your own fucked up process of thinking and responding and reacting. You're great, Elijah, at looking at other people and talking about they didn't do this and they didn't did, 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 and that's the why I'm not, I just not did it. No, motherfucker, that's not why you do whoop, do whoop, do whoop, because they did whoop, do, do whoop. You know what I mean? You do what you do, Elijah, because you make a decision to do what you do. When you grow the fuck up, Elijah, and stop deflecting, Stop constantly talking about, well, if they went did this and did it and changing the fucking subject. Because every time I try to have a heart to heart conversation with you, Elijah, you want to start talking about everybody else. I, as God, this is what God was telling me. I, as God, I don't give a fuck what you think about them other people, Elijah. I've never asked you your opinion about your daddy, I've never asked you your opinion about your auntie. I've never asked your opinion about the guys that molested you. I've never asked your opinion about your siblings, Elijah, because I don't give a fuck what you think about them, Elijah. This conversation ain't about them. This is a conversation between me and you, Elijah, about your bullshit. But you don't want to talk about your bullshit. So you deflect the conversation and you try to manipulate the conversation and start talking about all this other stupid ass shit. When the conversation get too hot for you. When it touches a nerve and you ain't trying to deal with that shit. You're great at getting into your fucking matrix mode and just start doing all this other shit. Dodging bullets and shit. And start coming back with fingers pointing at somebody else. When are you going to sit the fuck down and grow the fuck up? When are you going to sit there and start having some real heart-to-heart -heart conversations about your bullshit? About why you respond the way you respond. Can't nobody make you respond anyway. You respond by... Out of your shit. You respond... Out of your hurt, your trauma, or out of your wisdom and growth and development. Catch that. You respond to your life circumstances out of your pain and triggers or out of your growth and development and wisdom. You have to catch that. Nobody can make you do a damn thing. When somebody says something that strikes a nerve, you choose how you respond, whether it's subconscious or what, 
you choose how you respond. Somebody does something that you don't like, you choose how you respond. Stop deflecting and start going within and having some real heart-to-heart -heart conversations about your fucking bullshit. So you can sit here and talk about how fucked up the world it is and blah, 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 blah. But ain't none of that shit gonna change until you motherfucking change. Ain't none of that shit gonna change. Your perspective of life and the whole fucking world ain't gonna change until you grow the fuck up and you change. And as you change, you'll recognize and notice that the world changes. Your perspective of the world changes. It's easy for me to say, this group of people ain't shit. This group of people ain't shit. This group of people ain't shit. Based on your limited experiences, with people from those groups. Thing I shit to do with who the fuck you are and why the fuck you're the way you are. See, I, I deal with a lot of young people. And it's not just young people, it's old ass motherfuckers too. And sometimes old ass people are worse than young people. At deflecting and trying to change the narrative trying to change the focus I see I had to grow up and stop talking about what my daddy did to my mama I had to grow up and stop talking about how my daddy was towards me I had to grow up and stop talking about how those guys manipulate, uh, molested me. I had to grow up and stop talking about how my auntie was physically and verbally abusive. How my uncle was abusive. I had to change the narrative. All those things happened. But I had to grow up and understand, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, these people did this stuff. But the truth is, what am I doing to myself? What have I done to myself? How have I tore myself down? How have I abused my own self? And then got mad at others when they were abusing me. Did you catch that? How do you abuse yourself? How do you neglect yourself? And the truth is, so many Americans have neglected themselves in so many different ways. Whether it's we let our weight get beyond our control, we've neglected ourselves in not taking care of ourselves as far as what we eat and drink and getting diabetes, high blood pressure. And a whole bunch of other stuff. But we won't deal with that. We won't deal with the stuff that we're doing to ourselves that's causing our depression, that's causing our anxiety. It's causing our fear and our anger. We won't deal with any of that stuff. We're quick to talk about what everybody else is doing, what everybody else has done, what's going on with Donald Trump, what's going on with Joe Biden, what's going on with Sean Combs and all them other motherfuckers. We're quick to talk about them. We're quick to talk about, well, at least I'm not like that. And da, 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 at least I ain't da, 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 da. Okay, but what the fuck are you doing? What Sean Combs has done, it ain't got shit to do with me. I don't give two fucks about him or his life. And I'm not just talking about him. It's anybody. I don't give a fuck what they got going. 
LeBron James. I have nothing bad to say about him. At all. I don't give a fuck about his life. And that's what that ain't got shit to do with me. He's done a lot of great things for his community and wherever he's at. He's helped a lot of people out. I can't say anything negative about him. I can't say anything negative about anybody. I won't. I don't give a fuck about their life. I don't talk about their life to take the focus off of my life. To take the focus off what I ain't doing. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's what so many of us do. We want to sit here and talk about every fucking thing else. Except for what the fuck really matters. And all that really matters is what the fuck is going on with you. We gotta grow up. We have to grow up. Thank you guys for rocking out with me. Hope and pray that I said something to challenge your way of thinking or to inspire you. I love you. Happy healing. Peace.